Hello everyone. Welcome back on Techies on Wheel. Today we will discuss about RP solution design phase. We will look the entire detail of the solution design phase in detail. So what we will discuss in this entire session is who all are involved in the solution designing phase, how the solution design process works, what is solution design document, and then how do we get ready for the next stage? So let's get started. First of all, the first and primary role played in solution design phase is by solution architect. As we say that it's designing of the solution, how it will look like, what it is, and that is all prepared by a solution architect. So what does the solution architect do? Is that he or she is responsible for detailed technical assessment. So before we move to solution design phase, we had already a primary assessment done on the uh, design on the assessment phase of the solution. Post that, a basic structure, basic clarity is there that yes, process is feasible for automation, but a detailed assessment is done in solution design phase. Then Basis that understanding and assessment, a solution design document is prepared, which is the base for development to get initiated with, along with PDD. You can refer our videos on the documentation in a different, uh, uh, we have a different videos uploaded in the, on the channel. You can refer those for how to prepare a PDD and SDD in detail. Uh, but preparing the SDD is the part of solution design phase. Then, the actual effort estimation that how long it will take for a process to get developed, tested and deployed is all done in the solution design phase along with the development timelines that what kind of effort do it involve. There could be a comp high level complexity analysis done in the previous phase, but a detailed assessment and timeline could be revised basis this detailed assessment in solution design phase and should be acceptable and should be clearly called out to the client uh, and the functional persons to avoid any confusion onto it. Then the role come of business analyst. What does business analyst do is that the PDD walkthrough is on the initial process design document is done with help of business analyst itself. He or she is the one who walked through the entire process with every minute details of it and helps coordinate solution architect and client for the SDD review along with getting the necessary approvals is the task which come in the bucket of business analyst. Then the role of COE or managers comes in place. So the role uh, doesn't role belongs to like uh, it does belong to audit uh, audit process of the STD standards that the solution design document prepared is as per the industry standard and giving the internal sign off on that document. Then the provisioning of all the required infra requirement for the solution is the task which should be taken care of by the COE or managers, like the infra, licenses, uh, tools. So everything required for development readiness should also be taken care of by the COE and managers. Then come the role of client or process owner. Again, their role is very pivotal because they review the SDD as this is again going to be a kind of contract on the basis of agreement of, of what the solution would look like. And giving a sign off on that solution design document is something which lies in purview of client or the process owners. So these are the high level business people and the internal people who are involved in the solution design phase. Now let's look that what when we talked about solution design process, how it actually works. So prior to getting started with actual solution designing, we had a PDD approval. And that's again, the functional part we are talking about, the documentation of the functional steps of, P, uh, of the process is in PDD. You can have a look onto detailed PDD uh, video on the link uh, on the channel itself. So once PDD is approved, then comes the role of solution architect. He or she gets involved in detail uh, and have a detailed tech assessment on the process like I told earlier. Then he or she designs the flow workflow of the bot, how it will look like, how it will work and the functionality of it on very high level. And then basis that it he or she prepares the SDT. Then comes the role of process owner and COE management where the SDD prepared is reviewed and approved along with basic readiness of the development to get initiated with is all taken care in the solution design phase. Once we have approved SDD, a project plan is prepared 
or if you have already prepared a manager has already prepared it it gets revised as per the detailed assessment of the process um uh, basis the uh, sdd so a revised project plan if not prepared or if prepared uh, it has to be revised it's prepared and then the initiation of development phase get initiated get started so this is how the entire flow works on the solution design process uh we have talked a lot about what is solution design document now let's see in detail what it is so a solution design document is kind of a technical document which is based on the pdd steps and the process which has been narrated and the technical assessment the architect has done so it captures everything required as a prerequisite of development to get initiated with tested and until the deployment phase of the solution so everything how it will work how it will flow it's kind of a technical bible for if anyone wants to refer it how the technically solution is working they can refer solution design document in many places the sdd and pdd uh, is a com combination so solution design document is also a kind of a document which includes functional detail as well so it again depends organization to organization how they are segregating the data uh, the content of the solution design document or the uh, process design document or somewhere it, they also refer it as technical design document which is tdd so it again depends organization to organization what they call it out and how and what content it should contain uh, so it's like i told it serves an agreement between the customer business user solution architect and the rpa developers on the designing of the bot what all information usually the sdd includes are the to be process based on the as is process of the pdd a to be process flow is prepared and which is also part of sdd then what all applications are involved and what all integrations we are going with so for an example there could be a web application we are working on but solution architect got to know that there are apis available to interact with a particular page or a particular to perform a particular action of the process so solution architect might get into conclusion that utilizing api are better solution compared to going on the gui route which is ui route uh, so instead of going on the ui route they'll prefer api and that is where it should be mentioned in sdd that this is the api we are referring to and this is the functionality which will be done by the api so this is again a part of solution designing that how you based on the as is the, the thought process is that the as is process should be completed as it is but the way of achieving it can differ from a solution to solution perspective and it again depends on the purview and availability of other solutions for that particular process and the applications involved this is where i call that what all applications want and their integration details should all be captured in sdd then we have data structure that what all data structures we can uh, we'll go with uh, should be use list should be use array what kind of flow we should use what is the optimal solution uh, this is again many people don't come into uh, um, uh, onto this ground to get into data structure involved but it is very important from my aspect because it's not about only preparing our solution it is also about achieving the best time and less complexity of it out of the solution so your bot should be the ideal solution should be that your bot should be uh, able to perform a task say uh, in minimal effort and with minimal complexity for the developer as well that is where data structure comes in play then we have log structure that what all logging we uh, the solution should be containing whether should we go with the business log or it's required it's not required a uh, debug log what all kind of detail log is required will this solution work if it's not a big solution should we go ahead only with exception logs so it depends again client to client customer to customer solution to solution um, so everything is logged in the solution design document on how the flow is going to be and logs to be used then any assumptions so there are times that various uh, solutions are designed basis assumption you are not clear at what it is at this particular point of time when you are designing the solution but basis assumption of it you are going ahead and you are doing it for example you might not be having an access to the test application but you are assuming that it's a web application and everything seems that it can be achieved basis that 
you are giving a solution and an effort on it but later on time this might change this might not act the way you have thought to so you need to clearly call out that i don't have a test environment with me so i'm assuming that everything is going to be easily uh, uh easily uh, detectable in the web application i'm assuming everything is going to be smooth automation is going to be smooth this is why i'm giving this estimation but based on certain terms and conditions that if in case we uh, we realize that it's not the same way the assumption might not be the same as in reality and so the development efforts might get revised so you need to clearly call out all those assumptions so the client the functional persons and the technical persons are all on same page and there should not be any space of ambiguity or misconceptions or uh, um, uh, any uh, any other issues which you can encounter in future so this can be avoided be on this particular point so this was on very high level what a solution design document uh, uh, is and what it contains we'll have a detailed video prepared out of it for on what is solution design document and how to prepare it with a live uh, template showcase you can refer that video if you want to go in detail of solution design document uh, but for now we once the solution design document is prepared we are ready for next step and ne next stage so the basic elements are if we walk through is that solution design document should be detailed and should clearly call out all assumptions exceptions and requirement for your solution to get developed and delivered next is that development readiness should be targeted to complete while in designing phase itself why we say so so that after this stage development process will get initiated but it should not be that your application access is still pending so what will happen is that until your applications are accessible development cannot be done so one should make sure that all the readiness for development be your system be your infra be your application be your licenses everything is sorted out in the design phase so that the moment design phase is complete we have the approval in place we can get started with development without any delay then the sdt should be reviewed and signed off to get started with next phase like every other uh, uh, document client should approve the solution design document as well along with the internal sign offs should be in place to make sure that the sdt is prepared as per the standard and the client confirms on to it by saying that yeah, it includes everything what is required from our end to be achieved the process to be achieved so this is where the solution design uh, review and sign off comes in place so i hope this would have been clear that what is solution design phase and what it looks like who all are involved and what how it works actually so what next in the next video we'll talk about the implementation phase which is the next phase after the solution design phase so meanwhile keep learning keep growing stay healthy and keep smiling thank you everyone